So Figo, Cliver and Saviola came out as the league suggested. So I already had a quick look at the cards and messed around with the builds. Um, they do look promising, uh, especially Figo. I think uh, Figo looks pretty good. So his boost is the dribbling and tight possession, uh, speed and then balance. Those are all good. Uh, speed maybe not too useful because he's never going to be really really fast but uh, I mean if you get the boost on it it'll make it a little bit better he's got high weak foot uh, which is good because look at his positions he can play pretty much everywhere except uh, centre forward and CMF I'm sure though you can change that uh, with the position trainers not that I would I, I wouldn't play this guy centre uh, forward the only position I'd give him is uh, centre mid I think his best position is AMF or left mid for the knock on finesse um, it would be good if he was best in right mid, just because it's more realistic, but the way crosses are in this game, um, it's really not the crosses that is the problem, it's more the headers and the way uh, strikers take down the ball. He won't be uh, too effective if you're trying to play a cross in game with him. What skills does he have? He got very good skills. Scissors feint, really good. Double touch, really good. Marseille turn, really good, especially for a player like Figo. Uh, I think Marseille turn, from my experience, works with players that are a bit more physical. Not that Figo is amazingly physical based off his stats, but if you look at his height and his weight, um, 75 kilos isn't really that heavy in, in real life but I feel like in the game 75 kilos is uh, kind of heavy I think they underestimate some of the players weights in this game he's got soul control and long range curler so there you go you got the knock on finesse first time shot untouched pass true passing and, and pinpoint so you pretty much got all the skills you want I'll do a skill I'll give advice on the skills in a second first we're going to look at his uh, builds so I have two builds I recommend they're both very very similar you might not notice it when I switch what the difference is but it's a very small difference but it's important so this is the mistake some of you might make these builds are based on your style of play so you're going to have to make the decision but I'll give you the guidance if you are someone who wants to focus more on his uh, dribbling ability and you know how well he, he is in beating a man you're going to want to go with uh the previous build you want to go with this one uh you'll see it's a little bit more acceleration and balance and the 90 balance threshold is very important for the dribbling but it takes off a bit of speed and a bit of kick and power speed isn't a problem for beating the players like that little amount of speed isn't going to be a problem uh, it's not going to be much difference, but getting that balance up to the uh, threshold is going to be a difference. Now, the, this build here has a little bit less balance, more kick and power, and that's going to be very important for uh, his finishing, his passing, and his knock-on finesse, uh, especially the knock-on finesse. I've definitely come to the realisation that kick and power is way more important than curl for the knock-on finesse. Uh, basically, if you watch my Gerard review, you'll know why, because he doesn't have good curl, he had good kick and power. And he had uh, a good few long range curlers in his locker. That's the kind of difference, what you need to go for. Personally, what would I go for? I would go for the kick and power builds just because I feel like it makes the passing more consistent and it makes the finishing or the knock on finesse, as I've just said, better. And even just normal shots, I feel like low finishing can get masked by good kick and power and good curl. So I'd recommend Figo um, this build here. But one last look at the last build, just in case you want to be better at uh, dribbling. Uh, this is uh, the build. Now, every, the reason everything else is the same is just because the way Konami built the card, everything else makes sense. Um, the 100 dribbling, um, it's a, you know you could put it to 99, but trust me, 100 dribbling is a good bit different than 99. Um, usually, you know, only one stat isn't too much, but the 100 is because if you watch, basically, if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll notice, um, especially in particular the Maradona video, 101 dribbling. When the player gets to 100 dribbling, they seem to always react to the uh, defender every time the defender comes close to them. So they'll either jump over the defender, jump over the ball and keep going, or they'll uh, jump and get fouled and you win a free kick. So get the 100 dribble in type possession and Figo will be like a foul magnet. What skills would I put on Figo? Um, first off, I'd probably go for long range shooting, just match that uh, kick and power uh, with the expectation that he should be good at uh, long range shots. Um, second, probably go for flip flop. Get the level three double touch. He has double touch and soul control. It's 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 a very simple addition to get him to the level three double touch. I probably go gamesmanship after, uh, just because he's not going to be uh, blistering fast like I've said. So if you do dribble by someone but you can't break away, um, in that kind of little transition phase, if you win a foul, uh, you'll be happy. After that, uh, then I'd go for weighted pass, just cause weighted pass, especially for the lofted passes, uh, makes them more accurate. So the way it works is, when the player kicks the ball, they put back spin on it. So when you play a lofted pass, a uh, lofted true ball in particular, the backspin will stop the ball kind of in front of the, the attacker and it'll be better in his path to uh, take it down. And other skills you could put on, uh, you could put on a fighting spirit, just make him a bit more resilient. 
uh, he could be a good super sub just because the fact that um, let me pull him up again the amount of different positions he has if he's a super sub like think about that you have your left mid right mid you can bring on you've got AMF and then you can play like yeah you've got you've got wingers in AMF as a super sub if you give him super sub uh, so some years he might be one of the better players you have so you don't want to use super sub on him put him in your team but if you're a proper whale and you've got god squad uh, if you go will be at that level where he probably isn't starting for you, but he uh, would be a very good super sub, so I'd consider that. Um, next player we'll move on to is Saviola. Now, Saviola is one of my favorite players in this game, uh, but obviously I haven't, I don't have this version, uh, so I'm excited to uh, see what he looks like. His booster isn't the speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina, and that's exactly what you want on Saviola, uh, just because I've used a lot of players. Saviola feels like one of the fastest even though my big time Saviola, his build has like 100 acceleration and 93 speed or something, some something around that level. The big There's a big gap between his acceleration and speed, but he feels uh, blister and fast nonetheless. And it's probably because of the weight and the height. So it's a bit of the opposite situation to um to Vigo. Now the skills this Saviola has are a bit disappointing, but it's it's not a major issue. He's got double touch, cut behind and turn, starting off well, heading, too, too short to worry about, but he will win headers there. Uh, Pretty surprisingly well based on his big time card he does anyway uh long range curler it's not gonna it's not gonna happen too much doesn't have good curl uh, and more importantly doesn't have good kicking power so uh you won't be hitting too many uh long range curlers with him next skill acrobatic finishing that's you need that on your strikers a couple months ago i recommend i never recommended it until i realized uh how effective it is especially with dribblers so yeah if you're happy with that heel trick good for the forwards uh keep the one twos going keep the fluidity First time shot and gamesmanship and the gamesmanship with him with saviola with that height that weight he'll he'll win fells like it's nothing so uh the builds for saviola this is the build i would go with um you're basically doing it just to get the acceleration up to uh over into the booster area and um, the dribble and all at 90 uh the speed it is a big gap but um saviola is more you're you're literally trying to just get around to the defender um and He's probably the best player in the game for that. Is there maybe maybe Neymar Neymar has better dribbling, but Saviola definitely has a better burst to get around uh, players. So um, you know if you got if you got mix in them, you're probably looking at Maradona. But uh, Savi Saviola honestly, his dribbling stats aren't the greatest. Like just center mids with that type of dribbling. Uh, I think Ericsson has a bit of that dribbling, but uh, Saviola's dribbling definitely feels a lot better than his stats show. Uh, the reason the card is built like this is if you go into um. The stats before the boost, you can see I've tried to get a lot of things above 85. You can make a slight change though, um, but it but it's a, it's not really a slight change to be honest. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty big change. If you want to get the uh, kicking power to the booster, you're gonna have to uh, do this, and then you can probably put one point back into dexterity. And now he has 88 kicking power, so you can see to be honest, that build looks pretty good too. 96 speed, 898 acceleration, 88 kicking power, still has 95 balance. That's probably well round, more well rounded. Um, if anything, it's a, it's another, it's the same with Figo. It's another coin toss. If you really are solely just worried about his abilities to dribble, uh, go for the first build. If you are thinking you need to rely on the, you want you want them to be a more clinical finisher, uh, go for the kick on power. But one point about the that kind of debate is. If you are a good dribbler and you have Saviola, he doesn't have to have amazing finishing and kick and power just because based on his dribbling ability, you'll get him into very dangerous areas where you don't need high finishing. If you're not quite an amazing dribbler and you feel like you need a little bit more like oomph in your shots, probably go for this second build. Uh, the skills I would put on him, I think, um, actually, do I have the... Uh, yeah, I have the uh, other... Um, it's a big time Saviola, so you can see it's a, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big boost because um, uh, basically it's a five extra dribbling. We can take off two shooting actually just to make the big time the same. If I put it into the so the okay so the the thing is it's a little bit less um, like a tiny like, tiny bit less dribbling, basically the same, but the speed is a big difference. So personally, I'm not upgrading. I wouldn't recommend an upgrade, but uh, if you never had Saviola and you want them, uh, you're still good. Uh, the skills that this one had that the new one doesn't have, I think it's just load off the pass and uh, soul control. That's soul control there. So let me um, shift tab. So let me go back. So yeah, he's missing soul control and it's very um, very important to get that and flip flap. So I have uh, on my uh, Saviola, I have flip flap put on him just for the level three double touch and 
it, it makes them like a beast to the dribble. Um, like I don't, I don't use it for the long range curler. I don't know how many of I probably only scored one knock on finesse with uh Saviola. So uh, don't worry about um, it's not it's not his ability to finish that or not finish, but it's not his ability to score like crazy uh goals in terms of the shot. It's dribbling that makes his uh, goals crazy. But um, yeah, I'd probably go for. Personally, I'd go for the first build I recommended, but I'd say I'd recommend to most people this second build just because you might not be uh, able to rely on the dribbling just as much. Um, the skills I'd put on them, yeah, flip-flop, soul control, um, probably long-range shooting just because if you're on the edge of the box uh, and you dribble on the edge of the box, you might be able to hit one off a bit better. Um, then a fighting spirit, make them better at dribbling, uh, makes them better under pressure and... Um, that's probably like super sub after that. I don't know. It doesn't um the, the the final skill oh no true passing, sorry, true definitely true passing. He doesn't have it. Um I ha I think I was the first skill I put on my Savio, that's why I forgot. Okay, last player, and um, probably the least uh, in terms of ability, but he is quite interesting to me, uh, is Clivert, uh deep line forward. So Clivert has you can see on the right there, I'm covering it now, uh, very high weak foot, but he can play um centre forward, SS and AMF. I don't think he'd be good enough to play AMF. The deep line forward is very interesting for him because I love deep line forward in this game. Uh, my favorite player is the World Cup Messi, probably with the good physical. Um, and I have a video I'm working on explaining how deep line forward works. And I did that video with Rodrigo. So he's a bit nimble, but Clivert's you know, opposite he's physical. But I have in the past used, uh, I used a player of the week, Benzema, who was deep line forward for a while. And he was very good. So I'd say uh, Clivert's very similar to that. Um, his skills are decent too. His Marseille turn. Uh, I said it for the Figo part. Marseille turn, I prefer it on the physical player, so it works well with him. Uh, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, long range shooting, one touch pass. So he's missing a couple here for the deep line forward role to make him as good as possible. Uh, first off, true passing, you need it on pretty much all your players. Uh, secondly, he could do with uh, aerial superiority, just because he when he comes short, now when he comes short, he should have enough space to be free from the centre-back and win the headers. So you might be using them and think it's not necessary, which it, it it's probably true, but I'm always of the opinion of if a player is good at something, try and make them even better just so you can rely on it. So I'd give them uh, aerial superiority. Uh, after that, probably a double touch just because you're going to struggle to beat players with them. I'll uh, show you a build in a sec. You're going you're gonna to struggle to dribble by people. Um, he's not going to be bad at dribbling per se like you'll hold up the ball well but actually to beat the man uh one-on-one -on -one, yeah he might struggle a little bit then you can go fight in spirit um and then probably um i don't know uh i'm thinking yeah probably probably fight in spirit and super sub um so you know that's two players now recommended uh for super sub in this uh pack you know probably not what you're looking for when you're trying to spend this much money on a player someone off the bench but you could put gamesmanship on them, but I feel like recently fouls don't get called enough. Uh, so that's why I'd only recommend that on someone who's really good at dribbling, like a Figo. Uh, although they might change that back again and it might become really OP in the future. You don't know how Konami are going to do the patches. So you could go back into gamesmanship and hope. Fouls don't get called enough at the moment, so I do think it will be fixed eventually. So uh, gamesmanship might make a return. Then probably heel trick as well. I like heel trick on the centre forwards just to keep when you're doing the one twos. Uh, keep the you know keep the uh the passes going quick if it's kind of off balance or anything. So the build I would go for is this one here. Uh, it's a similar theory to uh what I said with Saviola. You can see I'm trying to get as many of the relevant stats above eighty five, so he gets the plus three boost. You'll see it now. So he has speed went from eighty five to eighty eight. That's the new manager boost. Um, so yeah, that's the build I'm trying to go for. Um, what skills are you missing out on 85? Uh, the only relevant one really is heading, but I don't think heading is. I wouldn't uh, worry about it. They don't seem consistent. Yeah, I've used Morientes with a 101 head, and he still misses uh, open goals. So I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't waste your time leveling that up. The only next one is uh, jumping. That's uh, it's a bit annoying that you can't get a higher. Um, with this build, but you're you're making up for it in all, uh, all the other areas, in my opinion. So his ball control will be very good when he comes short as a deep line forward, play a ball into him, he'll take it down well. He'll have the 89 physical to hold the player off. Um, you know, 78 low pass, do the 1-2, even a true pass if you give him the skill. Uh, and then when he gets in on goal, uh, when he you know releases that uh, pass for the 1-2, he's got the good speed to get in behind, the good physical to, if the defender's near him, uh, still get ahead of him, coupled with the offensive awareness. And then 
you know, when you're hitting the shot, he's got kicking power and uh, 89 and 91 finishing. And then he's also got a rising shot and knuckles. Well, knuckle shot uh, will only activate. Um, well, same with rising shot. They only activate when you know the percentage you have to hit them. But uh, rising shot on a good finishing player is uh, one of the most uh, OP finishing methods. But then he's got acrobatic finishing on first time shot. So a uh, pretty good card. Um, one issue. Uh, he might if you watched a few of my reviews, you'll know what I'm I'm gonna point out now is the outside curler because he has the very high weak foot. I'd rather not have it just so uh, I can use the weak foot. I think it's better than uh, I think a strong footed shot is a uh, curled shot is always better than an outside curler. Uh, pretty pretty much always. So uh, I wish he didn't have the outside curler, but there's nothing you can do about that. So yeah, not a not a not not a bad selection. I'd honestly say um, if he goes, definitely an upgrade on his previous big time or epic uh saviola is not a major one just a big pretty decent speed uh boost of speeds uh but um if i don't actually play i never play against saviola so uh you know most of these will be in the position where you don't actually have saviola already so it doesn't really matter if it's a big upgrade from the previous card or not you just need to know if the current one's good so the current one is good and then clivert i wouldn't be spinning for clivert but if you get him in the pack and you you want the deep line forward, um, he's good because most of the deep line forwards you have are probably uh, more nimble kind of ball playing guys. Although you've got Kane, uh, I guess. Kane's not uh, someone I particularly enjoy in this game though. Every time I've used him, he's dreadful. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching.